How do I retry a Jenkins job? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.1. We also have a sample repository. The link to that repository is down in the description. Let's go over and take a look at the first Jenkins file. What we're going to be doing is doing a retry around a single step. So we'll do stage one, we'll call stage two with a retry over this shell script, and then we'll echo out stage three. So let's go back over to our controller and let's run job one. And with job one, what we're going to see is we'll see the output for stage one, and then we may or may not see stage two work correctly, and then finally we'll get to stage three. We can see that stage one echoes out, we're running our test script, it ran fine, and then we echoed out stage three. Well, that's sort of what I would expect to happen, maybe. Let's take a look at that shell script real quick. What this shell script does is it's just checking for time. And if the time happens to be an even number, it exits successfully. Otherwise, we sleep and then fail with an exit. We're just trying to randomize what's happening inside of this test script. So if I go back over to job one again and build it one more time, let's see what happens this time. We take a look at output two. It still ran fine. Let's do it one more time, see if we can land on the timing just right to where we get the retry. We'll go ahead and run job one one more time. Take a look at four. And now we have an error in our script. It's doing a retry. It's still retrying. And finally, after one more time, it was able to succeed. And then we go ahead and run our stage three. So all of the retries are happening within our stage two. But what happens if we want to be able to retry the whole pipeline, not just a step that we're in, but the full pipeline. Let's go take a look at our second Jenkins file. And in Jenkins file two, what we see, instead of having our retry around this SH step, we now have a retry at the global level of our pipeline. So let's go back over to our controller and let's go run job two. Again, it's the same script. The only difference is that we have our retry block as a global option on the pipeline. Let's take a look at the output of one. We can see from the stage view that it failed a few times. This is a good thing. So let's take a look at stage one echoes out. We run the test script. We see that the stage three was skipped due to an earlier failure. It's doing the retry and then we go back to stage one. Then we run stage two again. This time it was successful and then we completed at stage three. Again, taking a look at the output, we see that we had a retry of because of the failure at stage two, it skipped stage three and started the whole pipeline over again at stage one. The difference is within the first example, we had our retry within a single step. So therefore when the script failed, it was just within that step and we didn't restart the whole time. The second option, we set our retry at the global level as an option. So that way, if a retry scenario happens, it's going to rerun the whole pipeline. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.